Good Tuesday evening, everybody, and welcome back to the first day of the rest of your lives. What does that even mean, Tim? I don't know, dude. I'm playing Ascension mode. Yay. It's it's a very, uh... I don't know if this is like an excited feel. I don't think it's an excited feeling. A large part of me does not want to do this, but I'd be remiss if that's the right word. To say I am someone who plays a lot of Slay the Spire, not to a point of like being religious, but like, you know, 90% of the videos up on this channel are Slay the Spire. I'd be remiss to say, ah, you know what, fourth character came out, I'm not even going to attempt Slay the Spire's Ascension Mode 4. Why bother? That doesn't sit well with me. The other thing that doesn't sit well with me is the fact that I'm going to go into this, potentially realizing this could be the next 10 months of my life. Because once I start, and once I'm in there, once the grind begins, this becomes the mission. It becomes the sole foundation of why I exist. And it's terrifying, because I am very bad with this character. So let's get into it. It's Ascension Mode. So the first few are not that bad. Like, this one's just more bosses. If you're good, this is essentially a bonus, really. More elites means more relics means more stomping potential, dude. Okay, let's get the mic in a position that's not in my face. Okay. Now, and it's got a little, like, a hellfire thing here now. I don't think it was like that before, but whatever. Remove a card from your deck. Obtain a random common relic. It's probably going to be that one. Seven max HP for a rare colorless card to obtain. Hmm. So like the booms like also bothering me right now. Like I'm, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. It's like the first day on the set. It's like I don't know how to do this, dude. I'm Tim. I play Slay the Spire. I don't know, dude. I'm nervous. I don't want to lose Ascension One. Get me the random common relic, potion belt. That's gonna be a lifesaver down the line when we got no potions to speak of. Floor layout. Right path is best path. We get a shop early, a fireplace early, quad fireplace, double elite. Let's make it happen. The elites are easy right now, so we should be going at them. Like, there should be no reason, no world where we do not go after these elites. While they're still easy. We choose to do these things not because they are easy. We choose to play Ascension Mode not because it is easy, but because it is hard. That's a JFK quote, I believe. Uh, we chose to go to the moon. Perhaps you've heard of it. Alright. So what's this guy? This guy's a chump. Yeah, the first few runs of this thing is going to be a lot of like a in the game sort of a Madden play by play dialogue. Once we start getting to the point where we're losing like Ascension 10, like ad nauseum, we'll start talking about a name shit that does not matter. Like, hey, I got a flu shot today and my arm is starting to hurt like hell right now. We go to the gym shortly as well. Uh, okay, crush joints is going to be a very good grab, like that vulnerability, extra damage. Uh, pray to upgrade, get the eruption down to one. Down to a science. That's like a critical upgrade. I don't even. I'm, I don't look at the guides for ascension mode. I do it all at the top of the dome piece. Eruption has to be like a number one upgrade. Golden eye. Whenever you scry, scry two additional cards. Not good for me. I don't. I, I can never utilize scry that well to begin with, so it's not that great. Carve reality. Very good. A very good, as my uh, old driving instructor would say. Also, the gym coach who wanted me to do the basketball team. I've, I've done this story before. See, we're already getting back to it. Carve reality. Yes. I'm going to remove a basic strike just because we have other realities, <laughs> carved realities, <laughs> get it, that we can utilize. Okay. So we can actually uh, deal with this pretty easily. They so could just do something like this, like that, and then like this. All right. It's going to be important not to get lost in our own bit juice as well when we're uh, on higher ascension or when we really need to use the noodle for gameplay and analytical processes rather than talking about, oh, um, you know, what's the point of getting a flu shot if it's just going to, you know, make you sick down the line like it is right now. I don't know, dude. What was the point of any of those fucking bop there commercials if it's just fucking straight sugar and like 90% of the white families wouldn't get you that? My family wasn't like in the Pop-Tart camp, by the way. This is not about, I mean, I could go to spiel here like I wanted to eat more Pop-Tarts as a kid, but my parents were like, hey, that shit's garbage. So instead, just eat the same meal of chicken and rice for, like, the rest of your life. It's like, this is fucking garbage. What is my piece about Pop-Tarts right now? I don't have a piece about Pop-Tarts. I'm nervous. Did you, did you not pay attention? I'm nervous. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't want to lose Ascension Zero because everyone's going to laugh at me. Yo, Decisive Reality. That's another good one right there. So they nerfed Carve Reality as far as I know. Do they nerf Decisive? I'm not sure if they did. Let's get Crush Joints up and running. Two points of vulnerability. It's good. 
All right, you take a look at these guys, and you're like, oh, these guys are probably in the toaster strudel camp. All right, this joke's stupid. He's a nervous lad. Okay, hang on. Am I about to erupt here? The longer this fight goes on, the worse my life is going to be. If I erupt here, I need to get up to 18, which I can do with just that alone. That'll be like the remainder of my block, so I'm not really getting anywhere. Unless I can bop one of these guys outright. It's possible. Not probable. Did you guys always have the, the debuff uh, negation? I thought that came with the later ascension mode. Am I, uh, am I crazy? Um, we're going to take it slow here. If we can find a better opportunity to do some big burst damage, that's when we really want to go for it. So I'm not going to throw caution in the wind just yet. Safety's going to do a bang-up job. That's 10 damage right there, by the by. Very good. Safety, mitigating most of my problems, will take a little bit of that damage. The sooner we can get rid of one of these guys, the better I'll be feeling about uh, going to a wrath mode without the risk of 36 damage flying in my face. So yeah, smite him. I can't kill him no matter how hard I try. So we'll just hold on to that smite. So we do it like this. Yes. Into yes. To a big smite. Big smite. On you, because you're attacking next. Big block. Big block. Acceptable. Hang on to that miracle. You might need it. Two damage is acceptable damage. This is unacceptable. I could have drawn, like, just one more attack card, right? Like, just one of those fucking attack cards. It would just, just be swell. So, yeah, okay, well... 13? It's less nice, so this was this went from pretty good to not that great. Okay, it's it's gone from being depressed to, you know, going to go see a psychiatrist now. Alright. Carve reality, crush joints. Okay. Uh that was shit. <laughs> well it's uh, unfortunate how some of the draws panned out there, but it's, that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Bottle flame with eruption as an opener. I feel like we can get a lot of uh Easy kills with that down the line. Protect is fantastic. We're more or less situated on the defensive front now. So much so, I am going to yupper as the protection. And then Vigilance obviously needs to get upgraded as well to make it worth playing instead of feeling bad playing it. Matrushka. Okay. Non-boss chests. Pay it forward. I'm going to rest here, just at the risk of uh, losing a potentially good run here. Way too early. Those will come later. Mummified hand. That was a risky piece right there. That was a risky piece. I knew. I was going to be like, hey, let's not, uh, you know, lose too much HP, throw it away here. Because a boss might coming up. I nearly could have dipped my entire hand in there and died outright. I'm well aware of the risk. And it paid off. Also, this is why eruption is good out the gate. Because uh, getting this guaranteed damage on the table, very nice. Except for the part where you can't kill him. What's up with that? So that just indicates to me that we need a little bit more damage in this deck for it to, to pop. Conjure Blade. Suffle an expunger into your drop out. First off, don't say that word to me ever. Second, expunger. Not only do you look like Cloud Strife. Am I good right now? My desk shaking. Is this hey, whoa. Is this is okay, hang on. Am, am I is this just nerves? Or am I lightheaded? What's going on? Hands off the table. I think there's like a minor tremor going on right now. I'm not sure. It might just be me. I, I don't want to type in my chat again like, Hey friends, did you guys feel that? Because then you're all going to laugh at me. I'm just going to do a quick Google here. Earthquake. Nevada. Okay, there's one on October 5th. Today's the 8th. Okay, so... Maybe I shouldn't go to the gym today. Why am I... Sh this is okay whatever fuck it even if there is like an earthquake going on in california it doesn't really affect me to the point where it's like i need to leave my house i'm just wondering why my desk is all wobbly all right where were we uh conjure blade i don't like that it cost all of your energy the damage on expunger though on a future draw is pretty nice Am I going crazy? I, I feel like I'm going crazy right now. 
I promise I've eaten. I'm not. I'm not that light at it. I mean, I eat another sandwich for the gym. All right, uh, give me uh, Crash Whip because I can't really justify the other card right now. Sash Whip is a good card. Graymon told me so. I'm gonna upgrade that. That's that. Aw, oh, bitch. Okay. So this fight can... This fight can get really bad really fast. Hold off on that. 36. Okay. So here's where your combo right here. You go a Sash whip miss Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You go for... Wait, I'm already... Stupid. Okay. Um, I'm trying to get the extra oomph out of this, but it's fine. Sash whip, reduce it. Crush joints, make them vulnerable. And then you just dip right out of that mood. So you take minimal damage. And then you can pop right. I didn't make him vulnerable at all. I'm fucking dumb. <laughs> hey, uh, laugh at him. Can I kill him next turn? No, I cannot. I can mitigate pretty well, and rather than let this go on for far too long, we're just gonna do it like this. Save that potion for later. Okay, 36. Gnarly, brother. Gnarly, gnarly, gnarly. You block. That's good enough. I think you gotta go for the carve here, because with that, and like the smallest bit of damage from a basic strike, we got him. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we got him. All right, we made it through the elites. Third needle's a fantastic get, and forward influence could be the make it or break it deal. It's a little bit of a gamble, but I like it. I like it a lot. All right, I, I forgot. I got one more about a combat to go through here. So this one's easy. You just go for the the yaw, the yaw, and then the yeet, and then you just burn that shit. And it's like, all right. Two damage. Who can do two damage? I'll tell you who can't. This guy. He can't even touch me. Flawless fight. Uh, prostrate. Or prostrate. Whatever you want to say. Flow state. And wallop. I was, you know, I could have ran a mixtape with that piece. Not necessary. Resting up here. It's good to be at low HP. I remember, hey, it's all coming back to me. Low HP. Who's my boss? It's fucking uh, Hexabud. Easy. Easy peasy. Give me a Vigilance. You got to erupt. Sash whip him, stab him, all right. We are going to be in the angry form for this attack here, which is pretty bad, but... This form's all about dealing damage. That's 36. That is pretty bad. That is exceptionally bad. I uh, probably should have chugged this a minute ago. Let's just ensure we get through this. That's minimal damage taken, boys. Two pops right there. Crush the joints. Carve the reality. Four in the influence. What is this? The enemy is flickled? What is that? What the fuck is Flickled? Give me the ball of lightning just so we have a... I thought I would have an orb slot for that to work out, but uh, I guess I'm just wrong. Whatever. Raw 7 damage, nothing wrong with that. 20 damage, less less ideal. So we get a wallop in there. And that's why we love it. Wallop into a vulnerability, into a amped up watcher. That's P good right there, my man. P good. I think you just, you gotta go for broke here, right? Yeah, just go for broke. So go for the KO. I don't have any skills, so I, I can make him vulnerable. Otherwise, I'd be more than happy to. So we'll just, uh, just do it to him. Spend these, because this guy's guaranteed to be there. We draw one bit of damage, and we're out. And just like that, first floor done. Barry in a bottle. Love to have it. Judgment. Maybe. I have mixed feelings about this card in particular. I know it gets really good once you get to the end of the draw pile, but I feel like I'm never gonna get there. But if there's a time to learn, this would be the time to learn. Lesson learned, also new, I think. You just tend to- no, I know about this card as well. Uh, this is very good so you can, uh, get some oomph going for the rest of your deck. You're getting free upgrades, it, it capitalizes on itself, essentially. Um, I'm a little bit more enticed by that because I can make the cards I have right now just that much better. So yeah, welcome aboard. And of the choices, I don't like Velvet Choker, but we're not really going for a big zero-cost economy type deck. So this is going to be the one we want. We do have some cards we want to retain and play, but this is still fine unless we get like some sort of Sneko Eye bullshit that they throw at me. Like, hey, wouldn't you want this? It's like, not really. This floor, two shops. Interesting. Three fireplaces. No elites unless you really want it. Um, tell you what I don't want. I don't want the elites. At least not back-to-back -back like that with no fireplace. So like, come on, you, you can pull my leg right now. That's 
That's not kind of you. Quite rude. Nearly got him here as well. So this is going to be a bad turn for us. 20 damage. 36. I'm like, hang on, do I have an- I'm, I'm, I'm having some struggle with a- struggle? Having some trouble with the math here. Uh, get me another protection, dude. You can never have enough protection. Uh, you know, if there's a double entendre in there, congratulations, you've done it. You've made a sexual joke, and, uh, you should be real proud of yourself. <laughs> Alright. Speaking of sexual jokes, who's 69? Okay. Easy turn here. Go for the eruption. You do the miracle. Why the miracle? That's a skill, brother. Skill makes crush joints pop off. Crush joints makes wallet pop off. I take no damage. We've dropped him down to 27 HP. I've played an attack. I'm not going to waste it on this block. On the off chance that I draw a sash whip to further reduce his damage. I'm galaxy braining off my goddamn mind here. It's only Ascension 1. He's still got it. All right, we got four in influence. Done. Done and dusted, dude. You give me that any day of the week, I take it. Especially when I'm in angry form. All right, all of this is... um. Debatably good. I'm gonna grab Empty Fist, mostly because it's upgraded, and in some cases I would like to exit some forms, maybe get some extra energy out of the column form, who knows. And there's two shops? I'm gonna take the question marks, we might get a bonus out of it. Alright, I regret my decision, so this is a bonus, I guess, but like... Okay, so I'm gonna fight them, because like, you didn't, I ain't no baby, more or less, like, bullshit, I'm gonna fucking fight these guys, stupid shit, I hate it. Okay. Carve reality, yes. So first things first, we need to get rid of the guy that's actually trying to actively kill us. And we've done it. Next up on the list, um... I think it's you. You do a multi-attack, which is a little bit worse for us, so that's fine. And on the off chance you just draw one more basic strike, I can bop you right now. We have some options here, I'm gonna hold off. We got potions and I'm probably gonna use them here. So this works. So we'll just go for the Miracle into Crush Joints into Sash Whip into Empty Fist to see reality. Protect yourself and we're done. Cool. And I didn't have to spend any potions, so two thumbs over, dude. Red Mask. We're gonna love that for later. Perseverance. Um, retain. This is a good card to have and it's upgraded, so we take. HP sitting just fine. I don't think I've ever have not I haven't even survived long enough to see Lesson learn, learn get drawed. Drawn, not drawed. This makes it cost zero this turn, which is way better for some extra oomph. Wallops next on the list. Lesson learn not really something we're gonna be upgrading here. It's a nice to have sort of thing, but it's not like mission critical, right? Alright. Two attack upgrades. One, two, three. Four, five, six, one, two, three of them that I want. Four of them that I, Okay, the odds are in my favor. I'm gonna go for it. What the fuck? Are you shitting me? <laughs> what? Come on! <laughs> it's not bad. I mean, it's, there's better options, obviously, but what the fuck? Hey, can I get some mathematicians here? One, two, three... Uh, counting four, five, six. So I got six cards. One, two, yeah, six cards. So it's a one in six chance that it grabs the strike, and then it becomes a one in five chance it grabs the other strike. So you know what? Fuck, we're doing math now, all right? Okay, hang on, hang on. So calculator, calculator. You got one divided by six. Okay, uh, one point or uh, point one six six repeating, of course, till infinity. All right. So I'm just gonna. Just, just grab that one. We, we know what it means. Then you got the, the one in five. Okay. Point two. All right. So you, you just add these together. Wait, that's that's not right. Wait, okay. So wait, one divided by five. Point two. Plus. Point one six. Eight times by a hundred. Thirty six. I don't think I'm doing this right. Anyway, it was bullshit. Um, also, this is something I actually feel bad about because I forget how to do this. Very basic arithmetic piece of determining my percentage chance of getting fucked over here. 
So be it. I'll grab this deck dirty potion just because, uh, why the fuck not? It's not going to be taking that money to the grave anyway. King Ramsey style, whatever. Alright, so that's just the hand I was dealt. Hey, dude. Still got a smile on my face. The run is going just fine. Still gonna bop you, because I know what evils lie beneath the mask. Um... 20... 40... 4... 44... 15... He lives with one. You're a bitch, Lamal. You're a little bitch, Lamal. Okay. I'm gonna do it like that, just because the smite's gonna stick around. I, I would like to kill him quickly, rather than let this bullshit go on for far longer than it ever has a right to. I'm actually fine with this here. So we will crush joints, and then we will... We'll play that, because there's a chance we'll draw something useful. Uh, I said there was a chance we'll draw something useful, not... We will draw something useful. Just kill him. I'm sitting here trying to, like, finagle this so I can min-max my damage. He's gonna heal anyway, just kill him. Let's kill that fucking idiot. Hit. And then hit, and you can still get the yuppers. Alright, it hit card reality. Yeah, they nerfed it. Oh, whatever. That's just my confirmation. Hey, second wall up. Not bad, and it's upgraded. We have the extra energy to do it, so it's good. I'm tempted to fight these motherfuckers, but... Nah, 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 nah. You cannot get me. Tiny chest, thank you. Anchor, thank you. Both very solid relics. I'm glad you showed up. If we can just get one more chest on this question mark here, I think we've got a good run in our hands here. Uh, amongst these individuals, I think we just say, hey, this is a, this is an opener for sure, but we can't really go for Wrath form on that one. That's gonna get stupid expensive down the line. And I'm sort of in the camp right now of just, uh, do the damage while we have the opportunity. Should've played Deceive Reality, that one's on me, I'll take the L. I will willingly take the L on that one. So here you go for a wallop. Into a protect. That's good enough for me. Lesson learned, not holding my breath, but we almost got him here. We could potentially do it. So here you go for a crushed joint into a sash with a miss. Okay, 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 okay. Block for 15. That's that's enough. Sorry, card reality. It's not today. It's not today, Mr. J. I got Joker on the mind still. Harley Quinn was also, uh, you know. Anyway, I was gonna still talk about movie, but it's not movie related. It's more I was thinking more about like the original Batman series. Just in case anyone was about to say spoilers, no, I was thinking about the original Batman show, the one that was on like uh, Cartoon Network at the times from like 5 p.m. to 7. It's wonderful. Uh, Tranquility. I don't think we need it. I, th I think we could actually use some more violence in this world. Uh, in this game, not the world. Akabeko, okay, there's a few choice cards I'd like to throw onto that mix now. So if you have any multi-attacks, you could find one. It's gonna be good. Using it on Lesson Learn, not... Actually, it's, that's, that doesn't mean anything, so fuck it. Um, dealing base damage is nice. We didn't grab more defensive cards, so we should upgrade the ones we have, and I already said Vigilance is something you don't like playing. You'll like playing it when it's on par. Okay, this is gonna get bumped up to... 12, which we're gonna be fine with, so... How about I hit you with an Eruption? This does more damage, so yeah, Eruption. Could have done it like that, but that's fine. And with a block, vulnerability, and then a sash whip. And I'm okay with the opener here. I'm okay with that. We gotta save the miracle as well. And here, you just go to town. So first off, pray. Yes. Lay into him for 20, fog and 8. Hit him again. We're gonna draw that later. Hate to see Wallop flying me by right now, but that's just the hand I've been dealt. He's not attacking. He's an idiot. You know what else he is? He's fucking dead. He's fucking dead, lads, and that's another card upgrade. It's a defend plus. There's nothing wrong with that, dude. Not a thing. Swivel. Gain 8 block. The next attack you play causes 0. While cool, because of the uh, Velvet Choker, that's gonna potentially hamper us. 
And it doesn't really get us any value unless something costs three, which it doesn't. So I really don't want anything cool with it. I cut through fate. Nine damage. The scrying's nice, and we do get to scry a little bit extra, so I'll grab one. Okay, this is just you just, you just go for it here. We have a lot of options, so I'm not afraid. Not afraid. Everybody. Extra energy next turn means we should be able to get out of whatever hoo-ha he throws our way. Dude, double wallop. Double wallop. Also a free deceive reality you shouldn't have. Okay, yeah. And then, uh, yeah. And then that's another upgrade. Okay. Deceive reality upgraded. It's a small bonus, but it is a bonus nonetheless. Signature move. Um, we are a little attack heavy, so I don't think it's going to work out. It just sucks because it is... It is good. That's a lot of damage. Hard to make it work in the current deck, unless we have a little bit of a, a block overload, which we won't. One, two, three, four, five, six, technically, seven. I counted that twice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Over half the deck is uh, an attack card, so chances are it won't work out. But as the deck is a little bit thicker, that will have his chance to do its uh, 80 smacker ruski, so I'll be cool with that. And I'm still fine with everything as is, so I'm gonna go for some more yuppers. Let's get the, um, let's get the protect up and running. Other wallop, you'll have your time to shine. We could use a lot more uh, vulnerability options in this deck to further let the um, damage scale. This is gonna be annoying to get through. So we definitely want to do that sooner rather than later. I think we get rid of the artifacts first before we start uh, playing the big cards. So that's good. Artifacts are gone. And we're likely going to get to pull off the signature move here. So yeah. That's cool. We gotta drop one of these to make it happen, but... I'm still cool with that. We'll probably roast this guy in a second as well. Debating if I want to roast him. For an influence, I can just bop him to get that back. Hard reality, that's a that's a more mission critical piece. We'll hit you. This is a good lesson to learn, because you only had one HP, you only got one piece back, dude. Come on. You you could have predicted that one. You knew better. You played yourself. Okay. Good defensive hand on hand. I, I know, I realize what I said. Listen. It's, cause it's cause it is. Like <laughs> there's no other way to uh, no, okay, uh, roast the other guy, cool. Hard reality is nice. I'm going to drop a Vigilance. That's going to get us 14. Still good defensive options. Let's go through a cut through fate. We're going to draw one card. If there's a card I'd like to draw, it would be the Crushed Joints. We'll deceive reality, crush the joints. Strike him. Lots of defenses still in here. Lots of defenses. 51. We have an empty fist. I'm going for it. We're doing this purely because we have empty fist on tap. So it's a little brazen because I didn't leave any uh, blocks left, but... We're still doing just fine. Yeah, and we more than likely will be able to kill him here. Super. I don't know how to do that fight yet. I'm still trying to figure out how to do it properly. I just think we're very strong right now, so it, it, we rolled over it. Deus Ex Machina. I like it. The art's still doing what it does. An expunger. Still on the table. Whenever a card is created during combat, upgrade it. That's very good, because we are creating an attack. A foreign influence piece. A reach heaven. A through violence. I just realized reach heaven through violence. Haha. <laughs> and there should be... Yeah, and a, and a block. I'm gonna give it a shot. And you know what? I think this is a crown moment, so... There's only a few handful of cards we want to grab now. This will further enforce that practice, and we're fighting woke blokes, so the power I grab this is going to send me back just a wee bit, but it's fine. 
left path is seeming like the right choice right now. If we get the question mark that gives us the mask event, we're going to get a hell of a lot of money as well. So that shop's going to become very enticing if that happens. If it doesn't, hey, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Who cares? Just forget about it or something. All right, cool. Strong bully or something. Okay. We're looking for damage at the moment. So this is all fine to grab. We're just going to push right now. We're going to push it, push it to the limit, limit. Okay, we've chosen incorrectly for whom we should be battling. This is still good, though. Because we're not taking any damage. I'm playing perfectly. Near perfectly. We'll, all, we'll give the disclaimer, alright? So give him a Sash Whip. Vigilance. Crush the joints. Ship the flesh, salt the wound. Um, there's nothing really I could do here. I mean, I could expend this to, you know, save five points of damage. I don't think it's worth it. Okay. Wallop blocking for 13. While great, we can... We're going to do it. Here I will drop it for the Master of Reality. That is worth our time. And there we go. Create a card for me. Okay. It's an all-in scenario if I do it. So I don't want to lose that for obvious reasons. That should do it. If we could draw our upgrade... Oh, you're back! Hey, I, uh, I thought I had this juggled out in the uh, near-perfect scenario. And I did, so uh, please clap. Another block up. Let's go. Carve Reality, I'm fine with one more of those. Offensive needs are taken care of. I will not fight you for this relic. You can have it. It is yours. You win. Good day, sir. Goodbye. Mask event, please. That's falling. I'll lose the other wallet that's not upgraded. It's fine. Hey! Chesticus unlocked. Teardrop lock it. Sorry, he's combat calm. Yeah, dude. Alright, fighting the uh, fortune teller here. Oh, dude, you know it. You you already knew. Get game. You are. Oh, my God. Yes, you were like, Tim, it is your time. It's time to shine. He's already dead. He didn't get to play the game. You don't get to play Slay the Spire. I'm playing Slay the Spire. Perseverance. Shit, I should have got rid of the other Perseverance. Because this might be too many block cards. But I'm going to grab it anyway because it's a good card. And we probably should upgrade it. Yeah, we should probably upgrade it. I'm going to upgrade Master Reality because it's it's another good piece. Alright. Easy combat, then easy elite. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? I told you today was my day. Anyone saying it was not my day, which was just me, be gone. All right, now this is going really well. I'm I'm happy about this. This is definitely easing my anxiety of uh, returning to Slay the Spire. My anxiety has already been you know eased like immensely just because it's going so well. But it, there was like a you know a lump in my throat because you were gonna sing the words wrong. Oh, ooh, 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 and it comes undone. It said baby, coming back to the Riptide. You guys know this song. Uh, these cards are shit. They're all shit. I'll grab this because it's the least shit of the bunch, but that's not not what you want to see right there. Hang on to that for the uh, vulnerability. Which we will make work. Yeah, this is fine. That's fine. Let it go. If you truly love something, you gotta let it go. Okay, so you Miracle. You crotch his joints. Ha ha. Kill him. Deceive reality. Am I almost out of... Yeah, I'm almost out of plays here. So I, I can't get a kill block. Okay, cool. Um, weaken you. It's the right choice to weaken him. We need to get him down to the... You know, the E bits of bits of health he has here. The wee bits of health is what I was trying to say. Not the E bits. Like the E... And the bits. And we're out of there. Okay. Weak potion for the boss fight. There's the flying sleeves. We're done. We're done. 
I didn't grab the card that gives me extra damage, didn't I? Oh, I do. I have Alcabeco. It's, like, it's a card. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. Okay. Um. Damn, girl, this is an opener right here. Are you kidding me? Yeah, we gotta know you do that shit. What the fuck? Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Are you... Are you kidding me, dude? That's the opener of the goddamn century. All right. Easy there, Tiger. So we'll hang on to this because we want to get out of the angry form because uh, being in this when he does his nasty attack is not going to be great. Yeah, 90 damage would kill me. It would literally kill me. Now, there's no figure of speech here. I will actually melt in real life. He still hit me for 45. You could have could have blocked there, Tim. Remember that the whole bit thing and then you're not paying attention. This is just what happened. So um, be better. Be, be better. Okay. Still, it's, it's okay. Thank you for the burn, Sanders. So you go about it like that. You should be carving reality. And I will. Because having this prepped, if we get vulnerability, you're done. And if we don't, we can still ice you outright. So uh, don't even sweat it. Don't sweat the small stuff, sweetie. Okay, yeah, just get me out of this fight. Um, Tim, you could have just played three attacks against him. Yeah, but I also could have lost, like, 90 health, so no thank you. Whenever you play Path to Victory, this enemy loses 5 HP. I don't think I understand why this is a card. This is, like, a weird meta deck you can make with that, I think. I, I don't understand it. Juju Bracelet, yes. Gonna rest. 79 out of 87. This is good. And we're taking on that elite. There's a shop that needs to be cracked open. And I will not be denied my birthright. Thanks for the upgrade. I appreciate you, upgrade. Thanks for the, uh, the out through vigilance. I appreciate the out through vigilance. Oh, hot damn. Can I... Can I kill you? I can. Super. Hey, superstar. That was a great play. Good on you. Okay, I like that. And I like that. And I like... The way... You move. Perfect. I'll take a Singular Tranquility as another out option. Who are we fighting? Big head guy? I absolutely crushed this guy. Not with this hand, you don't. Not with this hand at all, but... Um... It is still very good. This is gonna get the damage out there. This is a good opener. We're taking five damage for probably one of our better turns. I'm okay with that. We threw violence. Get the exit of the stance, and then you, you play a uh, you play a block here. I'll play I'll play I'll play, uh, I'll play you. Keep the protect going, even though it's not, it doesn't get to grow. Protect is still good. On average, it's going to be better. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay, so this is another moment where you go for one of these, and then you can do the signature move for forty nine. It's not bad. I have too many cards in my hand. Okay, not, not too many cards in my hand here. That's a smite plus, mind you. Don't don't dismiss it. The smite plus. Yes, you do this one and then you go for two smites. Okay, still cool with it. Still cool. Less cool. We're popping a Tranquility. We're going to need that later. P trust me. Okay. Sorry, signature move. Not your time. Where's my goddamn eruption? Why is it at the bottom of the deck on this refresh? Why can't it be not at the bottom of the deck on this refresh? It could have been at the top. Like... Come on. <laughs> 
Okay, yeah, and you just go for it. Almost threw that one, but... Whew, okay. You're getting a little angry there. It almost cost me. Crescendo? I don't think I can actually take it. There's too many things going on here. Okay. Yes. Less money than I thought. Um, move all debuffs. Three strength, three dexterity, one less energy at the start of each turn. Mm, it's a power. I don't think I can. Two, two block for each card in your hand. That's going to be useful. Upwards of 19, 18 block a turn, and then you upgrade it. It's going to be a lot better. I like you. I'm going to go ahead and remove a basic block for that one. In a pinch, this will be useful. I think I'm going to prefer the, uh, the random ass attack. And, you know, the, the, like the, the powers can come after the fact. And then, okay, like, then you're really like twisting my arm here. A pa the path of victory can just suck on these ligmas. All right. One more battle combat, so we might even not, you know, get to use all these potions on the boss fight anyway. Oh, you gotta, dude. You gotta. You may say this is foolish, but I'm actually gonna hold firm here. I got 17 blocks should I really need it. Like I said, you thought it was foolish. You thought wrong. You should have thought like me, a master with a big brain. I think we're okay with this outcome. You know what? Fine. Let's just drop one of these. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? He's dead and I get an upgrade. And it's the spirit shield. Let's go. And we get a potion back. Where's if we can get the fuck out of here? We're here. We're in. We are in. I'm gonna rest. The, the upgrades could be a potential game difference maker or whatever. Nah, we're good. Everything that's... There is a method to my madness. There is indeed a method to the madness. It, this was this looks like a, a very aggressive play, because cause it is. All right, but I had to go for that one. The sooner we clear these guys out, the happier everyone's going to be, including you, including me. I would like to draw that. Uh, no, I actually like to draw this. Totally would like to draw this. You kidding me? I lived to draw this. If I can hold off on playing Master of Reality, that'd also be nice, but I'd rather give him a little bit of strength here to get some of those better block outs on the table. Okay, now we need to exit this mode. Struggling to exit the mode right now. Thank you. Okay, we will exit this mode. Alright, uh, be at peace, me. Okay, yeah, yeah. And then one of those. Get a foreign influence in there. Um, artifact. You know what? Yeah, that's gonna be useful. Probably. I really would prefer not to give up my safety here, but, um... You're forcing my hand a bit here. Okay? Alright. This turn is fine to go for broke. 7, 14, 20, 28, so we need to block 56. This will block 26. And we can, we can just exit with Tranquility as well, so this is fine. Go for it. I had to pull back a little bit there because of the choker. I wanted to go a little bit further. Couldn't quite make the cut. So yes, and then you deceive, and then you believe, and then you carve, and then you safety. And you can't... Okay, this is too many cards. Shit. <coughs> Fuck. Okay. Um, exit the stance because we need to get out of this thing. Good, 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 good. Good enough. Sorry, signature move, your time has passed. All right. Now, you get another power for free. I 
I think I'm actually okay with fasting here. Because now, yeah, this, this thing gets hella good. Let this continue to cook. Cool, yeah, let this entire hand continue to cook. <coughs> Sash whip. Yeah, yeah. Let's not get over eager here. Okay, you just, oh, he got over eager, but it's okay because uh, despite about you know the game being a punishing slog some time down the line, this is fine. Okay, cool. Nearly, nearly biffed it there. Big biffage was on the the cusp. We're on the cusp of the biff. Seven, fourteen, twenty-one plus three, twenty, eight, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four plus six is when twenty-four. We can more or less do it with just one block card here. I'm gonna do it. Fine with me. Hit him. Cut. Why are we doing it like this, you may ask? There's a variety of reasons why we're doing it like this. It's not worth it to exit the stance here, because there's no real benefit earned. Here we want to punch as hard as we can. Sadly not able to punch as hard as I would like, but we're still punching pretty damn hard. The extra dexterity is also nice. And we don't have to worry about going to Wrath Form now, because um, we have strength. Like, we have a lot of strength. I can nearly kill you here, just so you know, mister. If I wanted you dead, you'd be dead that turn. But I, I couldn't, because the math didn't work out for me. And, uh, did I say I was anxious? I meant I'm fucking confident as all hell in my ability to play this character. Don't clip this when I'm losing on Ascension 16 for like a month straight. That'd be swell if you didn't do that. Let me have this, alright? Let me have this. That's a good start. The first step on the 20-yard staircase has been made. I guess the first yard on the 20-yard staircase. You know what I mean. I'm going to get this uploaded. I'm going to go to the gym to celebrate. Y'all enjoy the rest of your evening, and I will see you all tomorrow, probably, for the next one. Take it easy, everybody.